the OBIE, which is Oracle Business Intelligence Ex uh, Enterprise Edition, is really comprised of a number of uh, important components. The heart and soul of the, uh, the tools are the BI server, which is really the traffic cop to the overall uh, application. Um, it basically defines where the data comes from, how it relates to itself, and uh, is the, uh, the intermediary, the pipeline to everything else. Um, BI Answers is primarily the query tool within uh, OBIE. It's a very friendly, uh, end user friendly uh, tool that uh, users can drag and drop uh, data elements, um, in add criteria, and uh, either use, use it for ad hoc querying or to build reports through qu query definitions. Uh, dashboards um, is exactly that. It allows you to build and manage and maintain uh, screen dashboards that, that pull together a number of reports, graphs, um, individual components of information um, and be able to define them and then modify them as you need. Uh, the delivers uh, functionality is very powerful uh, tool to allow the definition of uh, users who need uh, to get the information. You can define who gets it and uh, in what, what particular content they receive it and uh, define how they're going to get it, whether it's email, um, uh, dashboard access, etc. Uh, mobile analytics is, is an extension of all of this functionality to allow information to be shared with people who are not directly connected to the, uh, the application itself, uh, particularly in the case, for example, of salespeople who may be out in the field. Uh, they are still able to uh, access some of the information, download it to their laptops, carry it with them, and still have some of the functionality of critical information available to them. Uh, similarly, some of the information can be shared to iPhones, for example. Um, BI Publisher is not only a component of OBIE, but also has been uh, used as a standalone tool. It is really Oracle's uh, official publishing tool uh, for all of its report uh, publishing and can be um, used to with any kind of editing tool, even including, for example, Microsoft Word, to take report output and put it in a cosmetically uh, better formatting, uh, for depending on the audience. Uh, it basically uses XML to uh, to accomplish this, and up until a year or two ago was, was named XML Publisher. Uh, it is also a tool that is incorporated automatically in the EBS suite, so um, it is um, a well-used tool throughout the Oracle uh, applications. Um, we'll talk in a minute about the different types of, of OBIE packaging that the customers have available, but the most comprehensive and complete uh, version of the software is OBIEE Plus. And if you uh, get the Plus version, you can also get along with it uh, some of the basic Hyperion reporting tools and we'll mention some of those in a minute. Uh, this is a uh, screen of showing the architecture of the BI server. Obviously, the, uh, the font is too small to be really legible on this screen, but it does give you a sense, uh, hopefully, that on the right-hand side, uh, you have a physical layer definition. Uh, in the middle, you have a logical layer definition. And on the left-hand side, you have the presentation layer definition. Uh, we'll give a, a little bit of a deeper explanation on the next slide. Uh, this uh, really, I hope, portrays it a little more directly. Uh, the power of the BI server uh, architecture is to divide data, uh, in the general sense, into these layers. And that's where you have tremendous flexibility in how you build these layers. At the physical layer, the lowest layer, uh, you're defining your data sources, and once again, uh, the data source can be anything from the EBS suite applications to a data warehouse that you may have, to any legacy system that you may have, or even to spreadsheet data that you may have. 
Um, the BI server really doesn't care as long as that source can be defined and the field names um, defined as well. Um, once that physical layer is defined, then it allows you to define your logical layer where you're building your relationships among the different data elements and any hierarchy that you want to define so that the system then knows how these individual data elements relate to each other. At the presentation layer, you're essentially filtering that information, renaming it or defining it for how the end users are going to see it. So as, as an example, at the data source level, you may have um, customer information at the uh, EBS level. You may be combining it with uh, a legacy system that maintains customer contact data. Um, that's all defined at the physical layer. The logical layer would join those elements in some form with whatever the appropriate linkages are. And at the presentation layer that the user sees, you simply have customer contact. And they don't need to know where it came from or how it uh, may you know, be related. It's just a usable data element to them to drop, drag and drop onto a query screen or to incorporate into a report. Uh, this is a screen of the BI Answers tool. Uh, along the left-hand side, again, very, very much too small to read easily, but just for the general impression, along the left-hand side, you have a list of the various data elements that a user is seeing. You can literally drag and drop any of those onto your palette, so to speak. Uh, you'll see some tabs across the top of the screen. All of these tools uh, that I've described already are not really standalone separate tools. They are all at the user level integrated into tabs and pull downs and buttons in various places. So they really work as one overall tool. Um, and in this case, you can put criteria on your selection. Uh, you can do calculations. You're, you're working with a very robust and flexible and user oriented type of query tool. Uh, dashboards, this shows a completed dashboard. So you have tabled information, you have uh, graphic information, you can have text information. Whatever lends itself to putting together on one screen for a specific audience that provides information that's meaningful. And you can modify these, you can again drag and drop the information. You can um, allow users to um, toggle on certain parameters, perhaps. Uh, there's a tremendous amount of flexibility in how you build and manage these types of, of screens.